Okay, praise the Lord. We're going to uh, uh, part uh, two of three. Uh, the first video, if uh, you haven't watched it, uh, uh, look for it. Part one was on the election. You've been elected, appointed, and chosen. Amen. Uh, that is uh, video part one. Video part number two, we're going to be talking about love we're going to be talking about love uh um we are in the uh, city of las vegas nevada usa and a lot of people around the world would come to the city of las vegas to get married because everybody was looking for love in the city of las vegas uh and um uh to begin with god is love amen so we're gonna get into some scriptures concerning love and uh this is uh part two of three the uh part three is gonna be very exciting and it's on uh, do not be deceived it's on the word deceived um and that one's gonna be very exciting because uh you've been elected appointed chosen and then we're going to be talking about love but then here comes a deceiver to come and steal your love and your heart and your whole soul and your whole mind and your whole body especially uh valentine's day um february the 14th 2021 and we're live from the city of las vegas okay listen uh, <clears throat> but what is love god is love it's not your diamond ring <laughs> your gold your jewelry your uh, uh <laughs> bentley come on <laughs> you know it's not your dogs it's not it's not you you look in the mirror, right? Like that's what happened to the uh, <laughs> the devil. He he loved himself so much. Look at him now, eating the dust of Jesus' sandals. Well, of course, when when our Lord and Savior was here on earth, right? But now he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and. Uh, Greater love has no one than this than to lay his own life down, even for his Facebook friends, uh, for his friends on uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Everything's shutting down, but I'll tell you what, you can't shut down the Church of Jesus Christ uh, because uh, the Church of Jesus Christ has been elected, appointed, anointed, and sent out. Um, listen, uh, love, what is love? Now listen. Love is a change of affection, a change of affection. You have a, 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 an affection uh, for someone so deeply, okay? Uh, you have an affection. Well, this one here is uh, a change of affection, love, a new devotion to God, a new devotion to God. On the first uh, video, we talked about your election. Okay, you've been elected. Um, and uh, this one here is a new devotion to God. January the 16th, 2021. We need to devote our love, our everything, mind, soul, everything we got unto God. Okay, love, <clears throat> a new devotion to God. I want to be devoted to God. I want to give the Lord my whole being. Uh, one of the reasons I really believe that God has spared my life for so many years uh, was because I always tell the Lord, Lord, let me live long life that I may share your glory, that I may share you. I, testimonies of, of testimonies of, of what the Lord has done even in my life. And uh, right now, before I forget, uh, you want to go to uh, Evangelist Jesse Charo YouTube. Uh, Win Souls Worldwide YouTube. Um, prophecy, 
unfulfilled YouTube. I'm also on Facebook, to God be the glory, and uh, glory be to God, the sun is coming out. This year, devote yourself to love God, to seek His will. Lord, here am I, send me. What would you have me to do? Because if you watch video uh, part one, is that you've been elected uh, and chosen and appointed Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. There is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Jesus, the baptizer with the Holy Spirit, uh, which makes us born again and made us born again is when the Spirit of the Lord comes in the inside of our hearts and makes us born again. For in order to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born again. There's only one thing that you must do. There's only three verses in the Bible that you must do. You can know the whole Bible and miss three three verses. John chapter 3, verse 3, verse 5, verse 7. John chapter 3. Uh, not only that, but if you read the whole book of uh, John, uh, it is a beautiful love story of God the Father, sin, God the Son. God the Son has, has made us born again by God the Holy Spirit. O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love, here we go, we're going to be talking about love. And you have to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words, these words, which I command you this day shall be in your heart. The love of God in our hearts. Uh, John 3, 16. John chapter 3, beginning at verse 16. For God so loved, we're going to be talking about God, for God is love. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world. Come on, listen. He did not send His Son to condemn the world. I hear street preachers that go out there and all they do is you're going to hell and you're going to hell and, and, and just condemning you. I'm going to get out of that one. For God did not send His Son and, and, and if God sends me and God sends you, you ain't going to go over there and start condemning people because the one that we were condemned before we got saved. We were on our way to hell so who are we now to send them to hell? Okay, the one that really deserved hell was us, you know, but by the grace and the love, we're talking about love right now. Um, uh, video number two, we're talking about love. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Might, might be saved. Either he's gonna save you or he's not. Either, here it is, watch. John 1 12 for as many 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 as received him the Lord Jesus Christ he gave them the rights and the power to become sons of God children of God okay watch I'll show you again for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved might be saved you might receive him you might not you might be saved you might not Okay, salvation is only in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, the only begotten of the Father, Jesus, uh, the only begotten of the Father. Okay, you receive Him, uh, the book of Acts chapter 4, verses 8 through 12. There is salvation in no other, for there is no other name given among men by which must, uh, we must be saved. Okay, greater love has no one than this, 
than Jesus to lay down his life on that cross. We are being redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We've been elected, appointed, anointed, and sent out. That is love. Now, <clears throat> greater love has no one than this. He should lay down his life for his friends on Facebook. Are you laying your life down for your friends on Facebook? Or do you have friends that you know that, 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 that they're on their way to hell, but you know what? You really don't love them because do you lay your life down? He said, brother, no, please. You're on your way to hell. God did not create you that way. You're a new creature in Christ Jesus, 2 Corinthians 5.17. That's love. That's love. It's by telling someone you're going the wrong way. Turn or burn. Turn, be ready for uh, the return of the Lord or you're going to stay in the great tribulation. To be killed, slain, or beheaded, read chapter 6 of Revelation. In uh, Revelation chapter 6 begins the great tribulation. And if you didn't get picked up before chapter uh, 6, <laughs> you done left, there, left behind here. No, I'm telling you the truth. Listen, I did my homework. Okay, watch. He who believes in him is not condemned. When you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, you ain't condemned. Who, who, who's condemning you then? It is Christ who died. <laughs> Furthermore, he is risen, seated at the right hand of the Father of the power of the majesty on high, interceding for us. Jesus is our high priest and he is praying for you and he is praying for me. And guess what? He's praying for them, for all of them. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You must repent and come back to God. You're a backslider, you need to come back to God. Amen. Because this is what's gonna happen in a little bit, the glory of God. You're gonna see the glory of God like never before. Okay, it's like in a football game. You can sit in the bleachers or you can be in the game. And when the glory of God is fully blessed, you want to be in the glory. <laughs> you don't want to be outside watching the glory of God. Okay, uh, in the last days, says God that He's going to pour out His Spirit in all flesh, and your sons and your daughters are going to prophesy. The lame walk, the blind see, the dead are being raised, and you want to be in it. You want to be able to be laying hands on the people. God will use you. Turn to God today is January the 16th, 2021. Gloria a Dios. Amen. Uh, glory to God. Okay. Uh, he who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already. You don't believe. I didn't say it. The word of God. The Word of God says that you are condemned already because you don't even want to believe. You're one of those unbelievers. Well, guess what? There's unbelievers and there's haters of God. There are people that hate God. They're, they're, they're haters of Jesus. They hate Jesus. Many people love Jesus. We're talking about love right now. You either love the Lord or you don't. Let me get out of that one. <clears throat> He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. He is the Son of God. Who are you? You are the Son of the living God. He said, uh, Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you, but my Father which, are, which is in heaven. He revealed that to you. Who do you say that Jesus is? Who do you say that Jesus, the Son of God, is? You say he's a father? Well, if he's a son, okay, I need to do a study on that, and, and you're going to be set free. You need to be set free. See, somebody taught you wrong, and now you're teaching others. I'm going to be on my third video 
glory be to God, I'm going to be talking about being deceived and deceiving others. Hey, listen, Mormons recruit Mormons to Mormonism. Jehovah Witness to Jehovah Witness, Catholics to Catholics, Baptist to Baptist. There's some Baptists that don't believe nothing. All, all they know is that they're saved. That, that's all they know. Well, there's not, that's not, nothing wrong with that. But you're missing of all the extra goodies. And this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world. The light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. This morning I just got out and I sat in the front porch and, and, and I was just absorbing the light of God, the Son of God. Glory to God. Energy energizes you the sun will energize you get into the sun and let the sun get into you <laughs> get into the sun and let the sun get into you amen um and this is the con the condemnation that the light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil their deeds are evil. I'm going to be talking in my third video, the deceiver, his deeds are only evil to try to steal your love and your heart that you have for God. You've been elected and you love God, but here comes the deceiver on uh, teaching number three. I'm going to be talking about that deceiver, okay? Because their deeds were evil. Their deeds, these people's deeds are evil and they're coming to get you. February, they're working on right now. Right now, it's January the 16th, 2021, but they're working their way onto February the 14th. They said, oh, Mahalkita, baby. I love you so much. I missed you. I wish I had you in my arms. I'll take you to the moon and back. If you would ask me for the moon and the sun, I would give it to you. Oh, loco, loco, me. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I bring you roses and candy, chocolate candy. Give me your soul. That the light is coming to the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil I'm going to be talking about these people that are practicing evil, hates the light and does not come to the light. They don't come to the light because their deeds might be exposed. I'm going to be talking about people that even crept into the church. You, you might marry somebody evil that's in the church and he's got all the characteristics of a born again Christian. Uh, video number three, you, you want to watch it. For everyone that practice evil, hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds would be exposed. These people need to be exposed. Okay, how do you expose them? Test all things to see if these people, okay, get to know them that labor among you. Right, hang around with them, see what comes out of their mouth, you know, because out of the uh, abundance of the, house, uh, the heart, the mouth speaks, right? Check them out, and then when, when okay, hey, you want to be my girlfriend, yeah, you want to go steady, you want to go with me, and this and that, this and that. Hey, you go like, hey, well, what the hell, I ain't got nobody else, right? And you're going to fall into a trap. I'm going to be talking about that in video number three. For everyone that practices uh, evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds would be exposed. Okay, but he, here we come, he who does the truth, truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen, clearly seen that they have been done in God. John chapter 13 talks about. Um, uh, verse 34, a new commandment I give 
to you. This is a command. A new commandment I give unto you that you would love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this will all men know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Now listen, listen closely, uh, that you would love one another. Uh, I was invited to a church and I went, I was invited and I went and uh, uh, the head leader, the pastor, was married to a transsexual. They, they opened up a church and the church was running. And, and they were going like, you know what? No, God has called us to love one another. And you guys, you had these gays and they, you had lesbians, you had everybody loving each other. Because based on this scripture, they should love one another. And guess what? They're loving one another, sitting in the pews in church. By this will all men know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Romans 5, 5. Now, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in your hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given unto us. Very important. Romans 5, 5. Love does not disappoint. Hope does not disappoint because the love of God the love of God through the Holy Spirit has been poured in our hearts by which we cry out, Abba, Father. Okay? Because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit that makes you born again, who was given to us. You've been called, appointed, chosen, ordained, elected. Galatians 5, 21. Beginning at verse 21, Galatians 5, beginning at verse 21, of which I tell you beforehand that all these people that work all these things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, verse 20, uh, of which I tell you beforehand, just as also I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Okay, you've been elected. Now the, the love of the Spirit is in our hearts. And you cannot live the way you used to live. Because Galatians chapter 5 talks about you ain't going to heaven. Not like that. No. Read Galatians chapter 5. Okay, of which I tell you beforehand, beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, he tells you again, that those who practice such things, all these things, uh, uh, all these sick things, whatever. Now, in this is revealed uh, the children of God and the children of the devil. Yeah, because the devil has his children and God has his children and you should you, you have to know discern the okay so if uh, if if a child of the devil comes over and say hey I want to marry you baby hey you know what Valentine's Day is coming and guess what I don't have a girlfriend I know you don't have a boyfriend so Leo, why don't we just get it on be careful I'm gonna be talking about that video number three okay Galatians 5:22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gent gentleness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. You're not under the law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. And then uh, in Revelation chapter 2, um, uh, the loveless church. We're talking about love, uh, video number two. Okay, love. 
but this is the loveless church. There is a church that loves and there is a church that has no love. They have just left their first love. Revelation chapter 2, verse 1, And to the angel of the church in Ephesus write, These things saith he who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven candlesticks, I know your works. I know you. <laughs> Jesus knows your works. He knows mine. I know your works, your labor, whether you labor or not, whether you're lazy or... Uh, all these things, Jesus is talking to the church, your church, my church, and uh, the church around the world. Watch, listen. I know your works. You say that, hey, you know what? We're alive, yeah. we're alive and we're alive. He said, I know you not that you're poor, wretched, m miserable, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that I may anoint your eyes that you may really see. You see, but you can't see. You, you hear, but you can't hear. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. I know your works, your labor, your patience. Patience? Church, some church got no patience. And that you cannot bear those who are evil. You cannot bear those who are evil. I don't like evil people. Okay? You cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and have found them liars. Now, the reason he went toward the apostles is because he started from up there. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers and helps okay he didn't go from the from the bottom to the top but he went straight to the top and he says you know what they say that there are apostles but they're false apostles false prophets false evangelists false pastors false teachers come on somebody and you have tested those who say that they are apostles and they're not but hey you found them liars come on somebody and you have persevered and have patience and have labored for my name's sake you have labored okay you got to be a labor laborer in the god's vineyard we must be a god about our father's business okay now, um, your labor for my name's sake and have not become weary you have not become weary you've been anointed appointed and, and you're you're on fire Okay, you ain't on fire, uh, Acts 1.8. And you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you're going to become witnesses. Okay, you need to become, you, first you need the Holy Ghost in order to witness. No Holy Ghost, what are you going to witness about? The Holy Spirit is the witness of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit it witnesses that God the Father has sent God the Son. The Holy Spirit comes over and convicts us, convicting the world right now of sin. That's his job. All three have a different job assignment. The Creator, He sent the Son that also created the worlds. Okay? He had to die on the cross, shed His blood. God the Father did have no blood. There's no blood in him, okay? But Jesus had to be born, okay, to shed his blood on the cross. That is love. Greater love has no one than this. They should lay down his life, okay? Remember, nevertheless, I have this against you. The letters to the church. This letter is, is for us. Uh, Revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3. That's where we are right now. Chapter 4 and 5, we're in heaven. Chapter 6, you go back to the earth, you're, you stayed behind right here. Uh, you're going to be probably playing at the park, left behind. Okay. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. We need to come back to God. Set my heart on fire by the fire of your love in my heart. Set me ablaze again. 
that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. You have fallen. If you've fallen, that's okay. Just get up and, and, and come back to God and repent and do the first works. You see, because the first works, we were on fire. Those were the first works. We were on fire and then we went uh, lukewarm and then we went cold. Right now, it's almost like we're looking at a cold church. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place, unless, unless we repent, unless we repent and turn back to God. Uh, remember the prodigal. He had to come to his senses and say, hey, you know what? I'm going back to my daddy. I'm going back to my father's house. I'm going back. Man, I had it, I had it made over there with my dad. I had everything I needed, okay? But you wanted to go into Las Vegas and spend all your riches and, 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 and Valentine's Day and wind up with the wrong relationships and, and you dumb blew it and you, you find yourself wretched, poor, miserable, and naked. And, 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 and you came to your senses and you had to, uh, you, you saw yourself uh, behind the Horseshoe Club, downtown Las Vegas, Fremont Street experience in the garbage cans eating pig's food. But this you have, that you have hated, the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. He who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Lord is saying by the Spirit of God, you need to open your uh, phone. You need to uh, be the mouthpiece of God. Say, Lord, use me. I'm going to open up my phone and share John 3.16. John 3.16. John 3.17. The uh, John chapter 3. Uh, in the uh, book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Jesus is speaking. Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I'm knocking. You're five years old. Jesus has been knocking at the door of your baby heart. You're 10 years old. You're 15 years old. You're 20 years old. For 20 years, he's been knocking on the door. You still won't open the door. You're 20, 30. 40, 50 years and you still have not opened the door. I want you to share this video. You're 60, you're 70, you're 80 and you still have not relationship with Jesus Christ. You still ain't been born again. What are you waiting for? I want you to share this video with people that are 60, 70 and 80, 90, 100. I don't care. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, that everybody should come to repentance. I used to pray for President Obama, uh, President Bush. Uh, he says, you know what? Come on, dude, man. Are you crazy? God is not willing that you would go to hell and burn in the lake of fire. I'm going to be talking about these deceivers that only come to deceive, to kill, steal, and destroy, and to deceive your heart, your mind, and your soul, and to corrupt you because they're working their way through January the, uh, January the 16th, 2021, unto Valentine's Day. Hey, mahal kita, baby. Hey, loco, loco, me. Today, get thee behind me. Okay? Watch, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches, to him who overcomes. We ain't there yet. You are more than an overcomer. You're more than a conqueror through Christ. Christ in us. We in Christ. 
To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. This is uh, talking about love, that God loves you so much, and you go love, put on love, forget, hate, you know. <clears throat> God is love, okay? Other gods are going like, man, we need to kill, we need to destroy, we need to, we need to, we need to, the only thing you need to do is be born again. The only thing you must do is be born again. Uh, glory be to God, to God be the glory. You're listening to the voice by the grace of God, evangelist Jesse Charo, Jesse Charo, Las Vegas, Nevada, the uh, evangelism training capital city of the world. That's what my wife calls it. Uh, this is video number two. We're talking about love. Uh, the first uh, part one was election. God has elected you and appointed you to go and bear much fruit. Uh, video number two is on love. Video number three, number three, part three, you want to listen to it because that devil, he wants to steal, kill, and destroy. I'll just give you one verse that, that's on the, uh, I'll be opening uh, video number three, um, the deceived by the deceiver, the deceived by the deceiver only comes to uh, deceive and being deceived being deceived and deceiving right second corinthians eleven thirteen, for such are false apostles prophets evangelists pastors teachers these these de de deceitful workers deceitful they only come to deceive deceitful workers transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing that his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness whose end will be according to their works. These are sons of the devil. Okay, and, and, and that's going to be part number three that right now they're working their way into your mind and your heart to steal you from the love of Christ. But the, I just read you some verses that I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor principality nor ain't nothing. There ain't nothing in this world that are going to be able to separate me and you from the love of God in Jesus Christ, being born by the Spirit of God, to God be the glory. Please share this. Amen. This is so powerful. Amen. Um, hallelujah.